Mm-hmm. You record and crank, I'll record slow-mo and inject. Oh shoot. <laughs> Dang, yeah. yo. I'm terrified. <laughs> So basically the whole combustion chamber just lifted off the, the base. to push it, I just hold it like that. Mm -hmm. It'll go. Alright, version 2. So it looks like we're gonna have to go with a version 2. Uh, even though we did manage to fix some of the problems we had in the previous engine, uh, there's only so much we can change. So we're gonna have to make a new design and new parts and new components. But in order to, to do that, we're gonna have to identify some of the problems that we're having. And number one would be combustion. I think that the fuel takes way too long to burn and even when the piston is at bottom dead center there's still pressure in the cylinder and that prevents the piston from ever going back up. Number two would be friction. Normal engines have piston rings, we got none of that. We just have bare plastic on plastic and it just creates way too much resistance to prevent the engine from turning. We can fix that by changing the size of the piston though. And number three is size, more specifically the stroke. Our stroke is way too long and it just takes way too much torque to, to even turn the engine. If we reduce the stroke, we can get the engine turning more faster and more steadier. So just to show you we're not giving up, this is our redesign. The whole cylinder is going to be clear so you can see the whole combustion process take place. Uh, yeah, it's a lot smaller, which is a good thing. And this is the start of a new video, of a new era, because we are destined to make this work. And yeah, subscribe, because I'm also making a custom B-series, if you want to know how I made it. It's not done yet, but it will be soon, and the video is going to be posted up. Yeah, so subscribe.